All right, new driver controls and new wave sculptor. Got our old CSIRO wheel motor. So I'm going to hand the, f the camera to Irving while he holds it. So there you go. let's get the driver controls in there. Mm -hmm. Hazards are on, hazards are off. And we're pre-charged at the moment. Let's go. You can't rotate. No. <laughs> and we're off. And we're pre-charging. I mean, re-getting into the battery at the moment. Nice new sound when we get to our right. And this is with the steering wheel on the same canvas. Everything's going to be on the same canvas. And we're in cruise control now. Coming down slowly. So the only difference between the new wave sculptor and the old wave sculptor communications wise is that the new wave sculptor takes revolutions per minute. So you need to convert kilometers per hour or meters per second into revolutions per minute. Um, if we get the driver controls in here again. So we're in cruise at the moment. If you um, pull the throttle, it should come out of cruise. If you regen, drop out of cruise as well. You can go into reverse. The reverse LED flashes fast and then flashes slow when we're actually in reverse. And we're going backwards. That's maximum reverse speed at the moment. It's maybe a little bit fast. Need to slow it down a bit. And we can't get out of reverse until we slow down to a stop. Now we go forward. The LED flashes fast again. And we're out of reverse and back into forward. And we're off again. Cool all working. Um, while I'm on here, the there's two steering wheels. This one's the only one that's built at the moment. This is B. Um, the paddles seem to measure different maximum values on the two different PCBs. I don't know what's causing that. And what that means is that the, the code has to be aware of which steering wheel this is. So there's a hash to find in include project target underscore config dot h um, steering wheel a or steering wheel b you have to know which steering wheel you're going to program and say this is steering wheel a or this is steering wheel b and additionally the steering wheel isn't smart enough yet to figure out what type of wave sculptor is attached so if you end up having to go back to the ws20 you need to change the code um, so that it doesn't convert the set velocity into RPM. And we go out of pre-charge. And we're done. No, nothing, nothing working while we're not in pre-charge. Alright.